Hello and welcome to Tyrannus Gaming. Today we'll be covering Inaros, a Warframe inspired by the Brandon Fraser film known as The Mummy. We're going to utilize 20 times Corrupted Butchers. It will be Steel Path. The AI will be paused so I can explain what's going on. And the enemy level will be 130. Right now, let's discuss his number one ability. Known as Desiccation. You can throw pocket sand into their eyes, like a schoolyard bully. And this does one of three things. One, every time you hit them with it, it regenerates your health. Number two, it will blind them, as sand in the eyes tends to do. And our motto on this channel is, if it is blind, it cannot see you. And if it cannot see you, it cannot return fire. This is better than simply stabbing them relentlessly as they pelt you with rounds and kill you as you do underwhelming damage. However, there is a third ability that this does. And this is what that looks like. Under the duration of desiccation, it prevents the enemy from responding, but it opens them up to finishers and allows you to repeatedly stab them until they uninstall from the game. Now let's discuss Inaros' number two ability, known as Devour. During the duration, as you can see, it six scarabs on them, which, as I like to call them, Desert cockroaches, as they are disgusting. But if we hold down the X button to devour him, if you look at the top right, you'll notice that this ability makes you immortal as you stand here and devour his corpse. But it is not illegal to simply stop if you feel like you need to. If we drain our own health. You'll notice desiccation does in fact regenerate our health, but fun fact, if we utilize number two, we can rapidly regenerate our health by devouring this corpse, and we can let go once we have full health meaning that Inaros can quickly top off his own health if you are not regenerating health at a quick enough pace. And if you keep devouring him, if you go ahead and look at the bottom right, you'll notice that our duration for this ability has ended, and we are still hitting him and still attacking him, as that duration is simply a knockdown effect of the scarabs, and does not actually affect our ability to devour his corpse. And if you imagine them not being on Steel Path, this would kill them rather quickly. But, Inaros is not a damage-dealing Warframe. The Simulcrum is a buggy mess. Normally, when you kill them with this ability, they will spawn a 15 second clone of themselves. But it's also possible that the Butcher just does not have a clone. Now let's discuss Inaros' number 4 ability as I already have it partially activated at 83.2% at the top right. If you hold down the number 4 button, it will steal his own health. But, as you can see, that 100% up there means that if Inaros has 100 armor, that 100% given to him will be 200 armor. Now, if you're wondering, hey, that sounds fairly decent, but the sacrificed health is not worth it, I'm going to point out that if you just simply tap the number 4 button, it will start to devour them and regenerate your health. Now you may say, hey, Tyrannus, Inaros' ability is not really doing much damage to them, and this seems rather useless. 
However, I'm going to repeat this again. Yanaros is not a damage dealing warframe. He is a support frame and specializes in crowd control. As those scarabs that you just saw, when they strike the enemy, will not only regenerate your own health, but it will rapidly regenerate all of your allies as well. And I know that Warframe has a community that loves to say, we want maximum damage, screw our allies, but I will tell you that sometimes people want to help their allies. And Inaros may not be able to regenerate health fast enough because his health pull is so massive, but I'm going to tell you right now that if you regenerate 300 to 600 health per second to your allies, they will appreciate even 25 health per second. Now let's discuss his number 3 ability, known as Sandstorm. As you'll notice, some of them triggered slash damage. That should be, under normal circumstances, an incredibly useful thing as slash damage bypasses their armor, dealing damage directly to their health. However, Inaros is not a damage dealing warframe, but his abilities can rapidly dispatch trash mobs, not on Steel Path, and at roughly level 30 and lower. Now you may say, hey, that's useless, don't make me repeat myself, and I will tell you this, that if you cannot see the benefit in simply throwing everyone and repeatedly yeeting them is not helpful, I'm going to tell you that being able to yeet all your enemies, even if it doesn't kill them, is incredibly useful, especially since there are warframes such as Saren use the spores, and it doesn't matter if you actually throw enemies around because it helps spores tremendously because you can simply pop them and spread them more. However, this is not about Saren, this is about Inaros, and I'm going to tell you this, Sandstorm also increases your damage resistance by up to 50%. Now I'm going to say this one last time. Inaros is not a damage dealing warframe, he is a support frame. I'm sorry this video was not more helpful, but as it stands, Inaros is not a very good warframe as compared to all the other rebuilds.